before the game, it's often at half time, it's often an hour after the game finishes. Now everything in there is wheelchair friendly high. There's a bar and food bar about this height. There are tables and chairs in there for carers, along with TVs, computer links, books and magazines. So our disabled guests can use this facility at the times I've just stated, but then of course at the end of the game, they can go in there, wait, let the main body of the 76,000 fans leave the stadium, and they can come out with relative safety and just make their way up the concourse to their car park at the top of the concourse area there. We call it the ability suite because once they're in there, the wheelchair bound person or the disabled person has the ability to go to the bar and food bar themselves without relying on the carers. So we call it the ability suite rather than the disability suite. Yeah. The green door behind you there, one of our first aid rooms. There are another seven of those around the stadium, eight in total. And on match days, run by St John's Ambulance, but you also find a doctor, nurse, and paramedic on standby at each of the eight. We also have seven ambulances on standby outside the stadium, just in case of any emergencies. Now, looking around, the people I've got with me today, hopefully, none of you will be involved with these people. <laughs> Police. Okay. We do have our own stewards who look after the fans, but we have a police presence outside the stadium. And there always is a desk sergeant on duty in there at every game, and there are three prison cells in there. Three prison cells in there. Prison cells. One for male adults, one for female adults, and we do have an extra special one for Liverpool fans. <laughs> 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 Warwick. Ah, 